hello hi guys this video i thought you know what let me do it so quickly guys uh if you've not heard canada has just placed a major cap on students study permit you know canada as you all know is linked to the rest of the world i remember a couple was it last year a Nigerian uh, blogger was invited to a major television um, news outlet and he blew up a whistle that most Nigerians are not just coming for school but are coming because they want to use that route to stay and find work. Well, guess what happened? The government changed their process right away where spouses were not able to come accompany their uh, study partner, um, whoever is studying. Well, Canada just announced the same thing. It looks like brothers and sisters for some reason. So whatever the leg does, the arm, actually, they have, you know, they say four sisters countries that signs a treaty. Canada is one of them. So it affected the student study permit here as well. Not just that, 2023, we saw a number of students trickling in, but not just students coming in. They're coming in without proper arrangement for accommodation. Of course, Canada didn't factor in the fact that things has gone up, rent has gone up. So people were coming in with the proof of funds below 20,000. So proof of fund was changed in December to $20,000 and six some hundred and a change for a student who is coming to Canada to study, depending on number of years, the minimum they have to prove is 20,000. And then today they place a cap on it. So it's all because of the number of students that are in a country without preparing to stay in and also how they can uh, sort of support themselves. Although due to COVID, Canada had also opened up the working hours from 20 hours to over 40 hours. A lot of students came in without having jobs and so forth and so on. So anyways... This is what is happening right now, which is why you might want to watch the um, express entry route. If you know you are coming because of a change of environment, you like to stay in Canada, please, if you don't have the money, don't come with a student visa. You must be prepared. There's a lot of changes that have taken effect as well. If you are planning to come, not just to any school, private schools are no longer qualified for postgraduate work permit. You might want to look into that as well. Go to the Canada Immigration website. I'm going to leave some links underneath this video for you to navigate yourself through. There's a lot of changes also who you can bring, who you cannot bring, amount of money, which school to apply. Only community colleges, of course, these private schools took advantage of the international students. Major money, like uh, thousands of dollars went to them. It does not go to the city, but then the city have to pay for it. The country has to pay for it. So here you go. These are the changes, guys. If you want to come into Canada still, better yet, get yourself educated back in your country. And apply for a job through Express Entry Route or one of those nominee uh, program, uh, provincial nominee programs. It works, guys. It's working for some people. Anyways, I just thought let me take a nap while I do this video. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and click on the notification button.